Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Sapare, pediatric pulmonologist from Narana Health City. I bring warm greetings to you. Today, we are going to discuss about sinusitis in children when to suspect. Sinusitis is the infection of the sinuses. Sinuses are air filled cavities that surround our nose. We have got maxillary sinuses, frontal, and behind this ethmoid sinuses and these sinuses are actually air filled cavities that have communication with the nasal cavity and they are lined with the same mucosa that our airway is lined whenever our infections of the respiratory tract spread to these sinuses it is called as sinusitis next question is when should we suspect sinusitis in children if a child who had simple cold subsequently developed block nose, excess nasal discharge. After fever having settled, there is a recurrence of fever or fever that has become high grade and the secretion which were initially watery becomes very mucoid, thick, greeny or yellowish or pus like and that associated with headache or facial pain especially pain in the just above the eyebrows or around the nose and this pain gets intense when the child bends forward and this is associated with irritation or pain in the throat we should suspect sinusitis how do we investigate and diagnose this patient this is the simple examination of the nose and tenderness on the sinuses and if we need we do take a help of x-ray or ct scan to diagnose collection of the fluid in the sinuses next how do we manage these patients majority of these sinusitis can be viral they may need simple supportive treatment in the form of nasal drops nasal irrigation and paracetamol and painkiller however if there is high grade fever purulent discharge significant tenderness, severe facial pain, child looks unwell, lethargic, then it is highly suggestive of bacterial sinusitis. That is extremely serious condition because it can spread to the neighboring structure like eyeball or brain and can cause complications. So bacterial sinusitis has to be investigated and treated with appropriate antibiotics in the hospital setting. So please consult your pediatrician if the above mentioned symptoms are present. Thank you.